quarantine with three members from a five-piece metal band, Deference. Pleased to meet you guys. How are you? I'm good. How are good, you? Thank you. I'm yeah, very well, good thanks. Today. Awesome. So we've got Rob, put your hands up. Woo! John and Matt. Hello. And you're all in Southampton? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so whereabouts in Southampton are you? Oh, we can't release that sort of information just in case our fans <laughs> are, find out where we are. <laughs> no. um, so <clears throat> I'm in uh, a place called Lord's Hill, but I am moving um, this Friday. So um, we pretty much, me and Matt live, well, when I, mo when I move on Friday, I'm going to live awfully close to Matt, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, <laughs> because he might just end up on my doorstep or I might end up on his, which, you know. It's fine. Um, and then Sean lives on the outskirts of, South of Southampton. Sean lives okay, in the forest. Down, down by the forest. <clears throat> down by the forest. Okay, then. Um, now, you formed as a band in 2014, so six, nearly seven years ago. Tell us how you formed. How did you know each other? Matt, you can roll with this one. Okay. Um, well, so I was in a band uh, before this one with our old guitarist dave who now shoots all of our videos pretty much mm. um and then i knew rob through going to shows and him being the nutcase in the pit so i was like <laughs> oh. the lovable nutcase in the pit yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, that guy can uh throw uh throw shapes in the pit so <laughs> i want to see I'll these be shapes better <laughs> come on I've, I've got my headphones plugged in though, so I'll, I'll, oh, I'll do them randomly. You, you, you can whip them off for a second, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I hope to see a spin kick here. I'm surrounded by boxes. Oh, he's moving so the chair. Big sign. Whoa! Ooh! <laughs> 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 and then you got the classic. I can adapt to it in time. How many, how many people have you I don't know what's going on with my phone. Oh, what the hell is that? Uh, <laughs> Can you stop it? <laughs> just throw the phone away. Sorry, oh. that was um, the audiobook I was listening to in the van <laughs> <laughs> on the way home. I was just going to ask you, how, how many people you've injured over the years in, in pits? Um, well, true story, if you've heard of a band called Desolated, um, yeah. my first band, um, we played a show with them, and my whole thing was to try not to try and hurt anyone because I, I never want to try and hurt anyone but i just try and you know i want people to look at me and be like why is he doing weird things why <laughs> why is he trying to do a front flip over someone you know something stupid like that but I, I just on stage and i was just like there's a load of people here so i'm just going to do a front flip into them and hopefully you know i'll end up in a crowd surf in theory that sounds great but in, pr in practical it didn't end up like that what happened is i did a front flip but my foot just went straight <laughs> into someone's face um kick their one of their teeth out oh god um which you know you'd think oh you know I'm, oh i'm so sorry for, for that happening um but they came up to the, at the end of the show tooth in hand and said this is the best show i've ever been to and i was like well okay then you know i was was sorry now i'm not i'm, oh, I'm, I'm amazed they still had their tooth you know that yeah, they right. find it yeah it was uh it was a great great show Oh, it certainly sounds it. So, sorry, I, I know I interrupted you. So let's go back to how you formed. Yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. sorry. I hope you enjoyed my moves, by the way. Right. So, uh, yeah. So, where where was I? Seeing Rob in, in the pit. So, obviously, I've been I've been to a few shows. Um, I'm not from Southampton originally, so I moved down to go to uni in Portsmouth, who I went you're to. Not, you're not local, then. Not local. I I live in Southampton now, but I'm not from Southampton. No, okay. it's not. The um, what i said you're not one of us <laughs> oh yeah no i'm not <laughs> uh, um so yeah basically i uh thought rob's a nutcase in the pit he should he'd be great to live with let's invite him to come and live with me <laughs> so so i did and he did and then i'd written i'd written some uh like some new songs after like my old band i feel like i feel like you, you missed a little bit matt i was a vocalist in another band beforehand and yes. our, our bands had played a couple shows together. Hence, so me and Matt already had a prior knowledge of each other. 
before him just going, oh, look, there's a crazy man in a mosh pit. I'm going to invite him to live with <laughs> 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 you. Know, one another's existence. That's a good yes. start. Yeah. And how, yeah. how did Sean, you know, come into this equation then? Uh, so Sean was a promoter for um, a local pub uh, that we used to play in called the Avondale. Um, and he just invited us to play a show one day. Um, you were in, weren't you in five miles north of nowhere then, Sean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. punk band, yeah. Yeah. Um, and we, we had a bassist um, that then left um, because he thought that I was trying to steal his girlfriend which I wasn't, because if I did, I would have, but I didn't. Um, so, uh, yeah, so he left. Uh, that he's since emigrated to Australia, which we're all still friends, so it's, it's great. Um, yeah, 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 such good friends. He's moved as far away from yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, you know, I'll, I'll take that as, as a... It, it was me. Right, yep. um, and yeah, basically, Sean enjoyed the music that we played, but was playing in a, in a punk band. So we sort of said, you know, if the, the, do you want to come along and, and play some shows and then Sean take it away man from there uh yeah yeah so um I I knew Rob prior to to that just through meeting him at uh, like a local rock uh, nightclub that we all um, we all went to so I met him a few times there and um yeah when um so I invited him down to to do the show and then um yeah after that when the bassist left um, and I was just like, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll fill in for a bit. I'm still with, still with the other band. I'll see how it goes. Uh, and it turns out I really didn't enjoy my other band. <laughs> so, um, I, I put everything into, into these guys and yeah, after, after a few shows turning up and kind of fitting in really well. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, Rob was just like, do, do you want to become like a, a full-time member? And I, I did both bands for a little bit cause I was, I was still living <laughs> with my old band. Like uh, they were my housemates, um, so that got really awkward when I told them that I didn't want to be in their band anymore. Yeah, that was an awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was. Um, I think that was what 2016, 2015, 2016. Yeah, it's been a few uh, years now. Yeah, about yeah. 2016. Are you still really your old band members? No, no. Oh. <laughs> I don't. I don't talk to them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, it's not through any any love loss. I think it's no. Just... We we all just kind of moved in different places. So. Yeah. yeah, it's like no, no bad blood. I think we we sorted out the the, the differences between us after a couple awkward weeks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then uh, I think our our student lets kind of um, ended, and we all needed to find somewhere else to live, and we all just went different ways. Yeah. So mm. talk to us about how your sound as a band has changed since you started um so to know. begin i think like when i started the bat like what we've written over the years has kind of bit come from what i've listened to a lot of really like when we started the band i was like big into o sleeper and architects yeah um and story just... we actually worked with o sleeper to um for sort of like how to write songs um and sort of like general song writing tips um yeah melodies you know and anything like that um and there there is a i'm pretty sure somewhere there is a song where it's me on vocals and uh mika from o sleeper too yeah, um 100 somewhere yeah i have no idea where that file has gone but <laughs> it, it does exist somewhere um <clears throat> yeah but yeah, so that was like the first EP was kind of like O Sleeper Architect, like older architects, like Hollow Crown kind of era architects. It was and closer then, to tech metal, wasn't it? Yeah, it, it wasn't really it wasn't really techy, but it was kind of like lots of uh, I don't know tech metal just, influences. Yeah, the yeah, yeah like, like the architecty, yeah, architecty. This the first EP that was the 2017 EP, was it? No, this is no, no, this is 2015. The first one, wasn't it? Yeah, so your first one was right 2015, 2015. then Force Awakening 2017, then 2019, Condemned to Repeat. Yes, yes. yeah, right. so yeah. 2017 based EPs. I like that, very methodical. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, tw 2017, so Force Awakening again, I was still listening to architects a lot because they're great um but i'd listened to a lot of uh north lane their singularity record mm. i just 
absolutely smashed that record over and over and over and over again. And I was like, right, let's write something like that because it's, uh, that's kind of what I went for with that. Um, yeah. And then, I mean, coming off the bat of that and going into like the new stuff, I don't know if you want to do a separate thing on the new stuff, but essentially I found that... Well, like, stay away in between that as well. There was, yeah, there was stay away in between that. And I think I found that like writing stay away for me was kind of such a slog with that song. Like we wrote like four choruses and like three of them didn't work. And I was like, oh, I just like, I found myself struggling with choruses and like melodies and stuff. So coming off the bat of that, I'd been listening to a lot of like, like Chelsea Grin's new record. Um, and I've been listening to Alpha Wolf and Knock Loose and like all the heavier bands. So I was just like, I'm just going to write the angriest stuff mm. I possibly can. And that's kind of where we are today. Yeah, because you just released uh, your latest single a few weeks ago, Body Count. Yeah. And I have to say, when I went to listen to it, I, I was surprised. I, I've got to say pleasantly surprised, you know, because um, <laughs> yeah. mm. when, when you first got in touch with me, I, I hadn't heard your music, didn't yep. know what to expect. It's true to say I've, I've reviewed metalcore before. It's not something I tend to listen to personally, no offence. No, um, but I do like it, and I can name you a good few really good metalcore bands out there at the moment, uh, to which I will would definitely add you. Um, I saw the video, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. It, the power you've got there, you. for somebody that's not necessarily a metalcore band, it did not make any difference. I absolutely loved it. It's a very good song. And I have mm. to say... Rob, your vocals were, were really incredible in that. And nothing that's really surprised me no, is how different you. your speaking voice is compared <laughs> to what I expected yeah. from watching your video. Yeah. You've got such a beautiful speaking voice. Thank you very and much. And a beautiful singing voice, but completely different. Yeah. So, yeah, so good on all counts. So tell us about this song, Body Count. What was that written about? Um, so it's a, it is a, it's not a touchy subject. It's just a bit, it could be triggering. Um, so I will put a trigger warning now. Um, <laughs> it's about some stuff, uh, about like okay. assault, uh, sexual assault, things like that. Um, so body count, like, like Matt said, when we wanted to write the angriest stuff that we could, um, when we first started as a band, we always tried to not write songs that you hear on the radio. Uh, so, you know, it's not about partying, it's not about sex, drugs and rock and roll. It, it, it was songs with meaning. Um, so not I'm saying that those songs don't have meaning, but we wanted to find a different one. So uh, previously we used to write stories um, and then write the song to the story. Mm. Um, so all the, all the first EP is basically a story from start to finish um, about a guy that ba makes a weather machine. The weather machine gets taken over by um, the army and then the army uses it as a weapon and then how he would feel knowing that he made this thing and it got stolen from him and it killed those people. Um, <clears throat> False Awakening was written in the midst of mine and Matt's grief um, when losing... Um, uh, I lost my grandmother and so did so did Deno, or Matt, sorry. <laughs> um, and, yeah, so th th that has a bit more meaning in the, in the way that we're trying to portray grief. Um, stay away... Especially Departure. Yes. Um, Stay Away um, is about... I know we sort of said about Body Count. I'm just sort of like trying to, trying right. to um, wave it in. Um, Stay Away is about mental illness and sort of like how you tend to push people away when you're mentally unwell. But that's, in reality, is the time where you need people the most, yeah. um, which is the, the chorus of the song. Um, and then when we come to body count, you know, we, we, we've covered most of the things that you write songs about. So um, we sort of thought, you know, as it's a very angry song, what, what's, what's the subject that makes us angry? Um, and in Southampton, it's, you know, it's not, it's not a good bragging right whatsoever, but there's a, a lot of sexual assaults and rapes that happen um, in and around the city. Um, and I think along, along the times of writing it, there'd been a, like an influx of, of those things. And, you know, I think we were just sat and because the song makes us angry, we're just like, you know, do you know what really like grinds my gears? And it is that it's the it's the predatory nature of someone thinking that I can I have this power over you and I'm going to abuse you. Um, and 
you know, that it's just, in all accounts, it's just the worst possible thing that you could do to someone, I, I personally think. Um, so we wrote body count as the comeuppance to that. So it's like, what would you do to someone if you knew that they'd done something like that? So, and also on the other side of it is from the um, girl's perspective is how she feels after that. Actually, I wanted to move on to talking about your your new album. So, will this be your debut album that you're bringing out, Better Off Dead? Yes. Yeah. So it was, and is Body Count a single from that album? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, the rest of the songs on the album do they follow in a similar sort of vein? That kind of angry, raw, aggressive sort of. Yeah, thing? they're definitely yeah. angry. Um, they're but they're they're angry about different things really i mean they're, they're not all about sexual assault for example i mean they're yeah. but they're all they're all well pissed off um <laughs> about <laughs> i mean there's a few there's a few subjects i mean like we go into like uh suicide and depression we go into uh we got one about climate change mm. yep standard that classic us um we got one about um which actually johnny wrote he, Johnny wrote the lyrics, most of the lyrics for this one, which is about um, like the celebrity culture and how people, everyone wants to be a celebrity. And it's yeah. like, what is a celebrity? Like, they're just another person. And like, some people play up to it, obviously, and some people don't. And like, how like that's kind of vacant and like empty kind of thing, like that. That was pretty deep for Johnny. I, I'll give him. <laughs> yeah, Actually, what... I Johnny's not here, but he's the guitarist. Or one yeah, he's the, the other guitarist. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, what what we sort of tried to do as well is previous in previous Deference records, um, it would just be a mixture of me and Matt writing all the vocals. Mm-hmm. Um, but what we tried to do this time is incorporate everyone in the song li- on the lyric writing process. So mm-hmm. give everyone the song that they want to write. You know, if it's Sean um, wrote probably the the thing that. I resonate with the most in, within the band, um, and that's a, the spoken word bit in "Stay Away." Um, so, you know, what I wanted to do is open that up and sort of go, you know, guys, if you want a subject you want to talk about, then here's your opportunity to do it. It's our debut yeah. album. Like, let's let's all do what we want, rather mm-hmm. than you know me dictating or Matt, not not dictating, but writing all the lyrics just to a, a real song. Team effort there, though. Yes, Very yeah. Much mm-hmm. And do you have um, a launch date for the album yet? <laughs> uh we wish no. we did and we have it's kind of thanks to that yeah it's it's kind of we've kind of uh well aren't we planning on doing a song like every month or every six weeks potentially um yeah. off the album instead of being like here's two singles and then bam here's the album so it's kind of more steady content yeah um and also because they're not all finished yet <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. of COVID. So um, like, be- because we've been like, we've been recording in kind of stages and yeah. like, obviously Whenever we're been, allowed to. Yeah. There's been times where it's like, right, let's get in. We can actually go and do something. And then other times, you know, Boris says no. So Are you in tier three yet? No, uh, we're in tier two. Uh, tier two at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Which means technically the, we could, yeah. Uh, record some stuff but then equally one of the rules contradicts the other one because you shouldn't mix with any other households so it's like oh, yes. you don't really know where you're coming or going um, yeah. so yeah. That will make it difficult. yeah yeah technically we're paying him but technically it's households and you're like well <laughs> yeah. we do good rules yeah. everyone uh, bit tricky. so Looking ahead to next year, um, given that you are going to be releasing an album at some point, will you be touring? Hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. We don't have any... We don't really know any, where venues are going to be standing. Yeah. Um, a lot of places are only just starting to be able to think about finding their feet again. So it's really... Um, it's kind of up in the air still about that. Um, we'd obviously like to get out and play shows. We've all missed playing shows, going to shows. Um, mm. So, like, yeah, yeah we all see what they want to As a band, you're most at home on stage. So I can imagine this is yeah. quite a difficult time yeah. for you to be away from that stage. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're always supposed to do it, like, with all the energy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pent up yeah. now. 
Well, I hope to see you when you come to Manchester. So make sure we're on your list of places to visit. Uh, we're not yeah. in tier three anymore. Which, Woo! Um, we feel like we've been in tier three forever. Yeah, I think you've been yeah. in tier three since like March, right? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. pretty much. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, lots Awful. of fun up there. So anyway, I will definitely hope to see you next year and um, best of luck with your album. I'm going to put a link to Body Count below so people can check it out on YouTube. As I said, brilliant video. Absolutely loved it. And I look forward to hearing a lot more from you. Awesome. So it's been lovely speaking to you. Thanks Take you care you and, and all the best. Yeah, thank you very thank much. You thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This is my